It was a powerful looking Hearts team and the lineup included Graham Hogg, their £200,000 midweek signing from Portsmouth. The Hearts fans who were anticipating great things didn't have to wait long and the new man was involved in an excellent set piece. The corner from Derek Ferguson, Hogg's flick on and Craig Levine's goal. Levine doesn't score too many, but they tend to be good ones. St Johnston had the ball in the net 50 seconds later, but Paul Wright's effort was ruled offside. The free kick sent in by Gary McGuinness, and as Roddy Grant leaps to head the ball down, Wright is just offside. More frustration for Saints' record signing before half-time. Wright beginning to wonder when the goals will start going in. In the second half, St Johnston had the ball in the net 50 seconds later, but Paul Wright's effort was ruled offside. The free kick sent in by Gary McGuinness, and as Roddy Grant leaps to head the ball down, Wright is just offside. More frustration for Saints record signing before half time. Wright beginning to wonder when the goals will start going in. In the second half, a fine ball from Derek Ferguson gave Ian Baird a chance to show his skills on the wing. He gives Mark Trainer the slip, but an excellent defensive header by John Ingalls clears the danger for St Johnston. Offside in the centre of the penalty box here as Tosh McKinley goes on to hit the bar. Perhaps just as well he didn't hit the target. Hearts kept up the pressure, Crabbe and Robertson combining to give Baird an agonising moment. St Johnston fought back, but there was to be more disappointment for Paul Wright, as he once again found the back of the net. No question about offside here, and no real protest. A genuine chance followed quickly for the Saints, but Harry Curran just failed to control the ball first time, and the chance was gone. After that, Hart squandered a wonderful opportunity at the other end. Derek Ferguson here with several options, but time simply runs out, and Saints regain possession, much to the disgust of Hart's fans. The home side certainly gave themselves the chance of a big finish, but it just wasn't to be their day. That point-blank miss from Kenny Ward. In the dying seconds, Wright tried to grab a point for Saints. But again, there was no joy, and the final whistle signaled the end of St Johnston's frustration and the end of a tough match. Never easy to take both points from McDermott Park, nor to be Dundee United, even at the distance here Smith gets didn't quite catch that one the way he intended done back by Miller for Mackay and that determined tackle by Malpass missed the referee wasn't happy about it though thought it was a shade reckless so he's given the free kick to Hearts Penny playing it on there's Crabb Robertson helping it through the effort 